Good morning. Welcome to St. Mother Garen Parish. Today is the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and as we come together as one in the Lord, let us turn to our neighbor and say hello. Hello. Today's celebrant is Father Moises, and our deacon is Deacon Roland. Our gathering song will be Gather Us In, Found in Gather, number 311. Gather Us In, Found in Gather, number 311. Please rise. Here in this place, new light is streaming. Now is the darkness vanished away. See in this space our fears and our dreamings brought here to you in the light of this day. Gather us in the lost and forsaken. Gather us in the blind and the lame. Call to us now when we shall awaken. We shall all rise at the sound of our name. We are the young, our lives are a mystery. We are the old who yearn for your face. We have been sung throughout all of history, called to be light to the whole human race. Gather us in rich and the haughty, gather us in the proud and the strong, give us a heart so meek and so lowly, give us the courage to enter the song. Here we will take the wine and the water, here we will take the bread of new birth, here you shall call your sons and your daughters call us anew to be salt for the earth. Give us to drink the wine of compassion. Give us to eat the bread that is you. Nourish us well and teach us to fashion lives that are holy and hearts that are true. Not in the dark of buildings confining, not in some heaven light years away, but here in this place the new light is shining, now is the kingdom, now is the day. Gather us in and hold us forever, gather us in and make us your own. Gather us in, all peoples together, fire of love in your flesh and our bone. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace. 
to people of goodwill. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. sins of the world, have mercy on us, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, have mercy on us. Glory to God, God. glory to God. God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace, to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace, to people of goodwill. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does its honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. The psalm response is, the seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. The seed that falls 
fields on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest, will yield a fruitful harvest. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest, will yield a fruitful harvest. You visit the earth, give it water, Ever-flowing rivers brims over to prepare the grain. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest, will yield a fruitful harvest. And thus you provide for the earth. Showers, you bless its growth. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest, will yield a fruitful harvest. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. 
and he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep, and when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choke it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, folks. It's a beautiful day today because we have the right temperature outside. And I hope that would stay till sundown. So we could at least feel the goodness of the Lord by giving us a nice temperature for this day. The scripture reading today talks about parables. The sower and the seed. Okay, the parable of the sower and the parable of the seeds represent our Lord Jesus Christ. But it can also represent parents and godparents of a child to be baptized. But I'm going to add one more parable, the parable of the soil. If you could remember in the creation of the world, when God is done creating the animals, the mountains, the everything in the firmament, God said, I want an image that looks like me. And so he used a substance from the earth, the clay, and created man and woman according to whose image. It is good, he said, and breathe on them. Then we have the first man and woman in the world, Adam and Eve. The parable of the soil, I would say, represent you and me. Since we were created out of clay, then we must be a good bed for the seeds or the word of God to grow up from within us. You following me? The soil, the sower, and the seed to be planted. So, the first time I read the scripture, many times, I cannot see the message that the Lord God is telling me. What is behind the word of God that I cannot see? Despite of this reading, and what is it that's in the seed or the word of God that I cannot hear. We proclaim the scripture. We heard it. You just have listened to the gospel. But what did you get? What did you see in the word of God? And what did you hear? Good example of this is, mom said, John, clean your room. 
soft boys. Persuasive. A little later today, mom repeated this. John, clean your room. And the third time, and the fourth time, and the more that mom repeats those same words to John, the volume of his voice is louder and deeper. But look, at the end of the day, mom said, I'm not cooking dinner today. I will order pizza. And all who have cleaned their room will partake in their pizza dinner tonight. You know what? John, John got the message right away and he cleaned his room. What is puzzling me is, does the pizza have more weight than the word of mom telling him many times during the day, clean your room. We hear, we hear the word of God, but did we listen? Hearing and listening are two things. Yes, I heard you, but my question is, did you listen? Did you get the message of man, clean your room. Then I said to myself, maybe the pizza has more meaning into our lives. And we listen, even though the word pizza was said softly. You know that ears pick it up right away. The message that there will be pizza at dinner time. Now, going back to the parable of the soil. We are the soil. We are the reception of the word of God. And what do we do with it? Are we the rocky soil? Are we busy with the world and we are cluttered? with weeds and thorns into our spiritual life that there is no room for the word of God to come down on us so that the seed of the word of God that will be planted in us will we have any chance to grow to prosper and to become fruitful in our spiritual life it seems to me that the only thing we need in a spiritual journey is a spiritual hole to till the land, you know, so that the seed could penetrate that soil that is within our heart and can possibly flourish and grow. As the responsorial Sam said, the fertile soil will produce abundance of harvests. Are, what kind of soil are we? The rocky one? The cluttered one? The one that just like stop by, they grow a little and they die? So, what are we in receiving the word of God? How can we, as fertile soil, give a chance for this seed to become a part of our life? Because God, God is talking to us 24-7. I heard you, Lord. But did I listen? Did I get? what you meant. There is a saying also that we can learn and pick up the message of the word of God by seeing them in the words that you hear and hearing them 
by the things that we see, that others, that other people may, may do, to enrich us, to feel the power of God in His Word into our spiritual life that would grow, flourish, and bear much fruit. So it is, to me, the important one is the parable of the soil. It is our story. It is how we respond to the seed that has been planted on us. Are we giving this word, the seed of the word of God, to grow in us, to flourish, to bear fruit, so that others may see? Because when I can't understand what the scripture was telling me, I went back to preschool. My teacher said, I have this seed. I want you to wrap it in tissue and put it in a Ziploc. Spray it with water and hang it into your window cell and watch. So I went back to that basic. After a few days, this seed started to swell and the husk started to break. You know what's happening? There is a root going deeper into the soil, looking, searching for water from within the earth from within us. Then a few days later, this seed had some, some sprout in it, but it's growing up, up to go above the earth. And the prophet Isaiah in our first reading said, there are heavenly gifts coming down from heaven. What are they? The rain, the snow will help soften the earth in order to become more receptive of the seed of the word of God that will be planted in us. Beautiful picture. You could see the seed grows. It got roots. It got uh, a shoot. And it spread out to the world to show the fruits of the seed of God growing in our fertile soil, in our own fertile heart, receptive of the word of God. We can also listen to the story of the pizza and Johnny. The word of God comes to us repeatedly and St. Paul's letter to the Romans is giving us this hope that in all the turmoils the trials that we encounter into our life something good is coming after the fact recently the howling winds of a tornado around our community in Elgin, in Warrenville, all over the United States, reminds me about Pentecost, reminds me of the, the message of the Pentecost when the Spirit comes with this howling wind reminding us how beautiful is the word of God that is instilled in us. So what are we to do? The word of God is spreading and it's growing from within our hearts. And you can see the branches that welcomes the winged animals, the birds to give them home. And on the scorching days, we could go under this tree and enjoy the oxygen given by this tree. The comfort 
the freshness. So as we go on into our spiritual life, all you need is a home to till the land, to clear and unclutter around this plant that is growing within us, to fertilize it, to fence it, to water it. That is our role as parents and godparents of our children to be baptized. We instill in them the seed of faith, the word of God. But all you need to do really is to pull yourself out into the secrecy of your home and be in silence. We need attentiveness so that we can reflect and get the message of the Word of God and enrich us into our lives. Now it's your turn. Good luck. Amen. Let us stand for our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us for men and for our salvation, our salvation, he came down, came from, down heaven. from heaven. By the Holy, By the Spirit, Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became and man. For our for sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death, death and was buried. And rose, rose again, again, on, the again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He, he ascended into heaven, heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will he come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, life of the world to come. Amen. We gather our prayers and our desires to bring a relationship that is deeper into our lives as we present everything to our Holy Father, as we ask Him uh, to bless our desires, our hopes, and uh, our discipleship in the name of Jesus Christ. For a spirit of compassion in our dealings with one another, we can recognize that we are all imperfect and need to be more accepting of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For doctors, nurses, and other caregivers, that the compassion they demonstrate in their day-to-day -day work may be an example and model for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For teachers and those who assist young people to learn, that their mission of education may be centered in a spirit of love and compassion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ministers of the gospel of Christ, that they can echo the Lord's message of compassion in all the say and do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those being baptized into our faith community, for Kylie Marie Pavlovsky, Julia Ellie Juhasi, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially those listed in our Paris Bulletin, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us and marked the sign of faith, especially Bishop John Mans, Cristabella Rodriguez, Domenico Lobelio, Armida Curran, we pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions for which this Mass is offered for Frank Padlo, Roman and Anna Romaniuk, for Roman Uritsky, Ronald McGuire, birthday, Deacon Dennis Colgan, anniversary, Jackie DeLarco, Florence Rass, Hill Hooley family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken and unspoken, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray especially um, for the repose of the soul of Bishop John Mans, uh, Bishop Emeritus of Vicariate 4, this Vicariate here in Elmwood Park and the surrounding areas. He passed away this past uh, Friday evening, and so here in the Archdiocese of Chicago, uh, we are remembering his memory as he was probably one of the bishops who confirmed many of our students, many of our uh, young adults in confirmation over the years. He retired about uh, a year ago from, from active uh, ministry as a bishop, and so our new uh, bishop, Kevin Birmingham, took over for Vicariate 4, but Bishop John Mance, uh, he passed away, and so we want to remember and pray for him today in a special way. So if you, uh, in your hearts, can also say a prayer for him as um, preparations are being made for his funeral mass, our community here at St. Mother Garen Parish, remember him and thank him for his many years of service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Heavenly Father, as we ask you always to receive from our hearts our desires to grow in, in holiness and relationship with you, help our trust to grow and our hearts to be open to the graces that you pour uh, abundantly into our lives. May we have uh, deep roots in our faith, grounded in our secure knowledge of your love for us, being made in your image, that we may follow Christ without fear, without um, any sense uh, of fear of the unknown, but securely uh, held in your hands as we ask everything through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We have a second collection today for our parish capital improvement, and we thank you for your generosity. Our offertory hymn is in Gather, number 348, Seed Scattered and Sown, found in Gather, number 348. Scattered and sown, wheat gathered and grown, bread broken and shared as one, the living bread of God, vine fruit of the land, wine work of our hands, one cup that is shared by all, the living cup, the living bread of God. The bread we break, a sharing in our Lord. Is not the cup we bless, the blood of Christ outpoured? Seed scattered and sown, wheat gathered and grown, bread broken and shared as one, the living bread of God. Fine fruit of our Shared by all, a living cup. 
cup, the living bread of God. As we eat upon the hills, was gathered and was grown. So may the church of God be gathered into one. Seed scattered and sown, wheat gathered and grown. Bread broken and shared as one, the living bread of God. Fine fruit of the land, wine work of our hands. One cup that is shared by all, the living cup, the living bread of God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just to give you thanks, truly just to give you glory, Father most holy, for you are the one God living and true, existing before all ages and abiding in all, for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with blessings and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. And so in your presence are countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night, and gazing upon the glory of your face, glorify you without ceasing. With them we too confess your name in exaltation, giving voice to every creature under heaven as we acclaim. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. Ye formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for you came in mercy to aid of all so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And so you love the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore,
Therefore, O Lord, we pray, make this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these gifts, these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant, for when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking a chalice filled with the fruit of the wine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. <clears throat> when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially for your servant Francis, our Pope, and Blaise Stupich, our Bishop, and all the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who partake in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek with you a sin with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and saints in your kingdom, there with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us share each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you that should enter, enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her young. By your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, blessed are they who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is As Grains of Wheat, 
found in your Mother Garen Songbrook, number 38, as grains of wheat found in the Mother Garen Songbook, number 38. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. 
through Christ our Lord. Our Men and Women's Club have reserved a picnic grove today at Jerome Hooper Woods in River Grove. They started at 10 a.m. and had mass. Please join them and bring your own refreshments for fun and fellowship today. Married 50 years or more? Join us on Sunday, July 23rd at the 9 or 11 a.m. masses for a special blessing. Contact the Pastoral Center and let us know you'll be there. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So brothers and sisters, as we come to the end of our Mass, we just want to continue to thank you for your participation and encourage you to continue to uh, be people of faith, as our deacon says today, to uh, take care of this system that we have in us, that the seed of faith may grow, may be water nourished. May we know that the Lord is always with us in these moments of, of desire. So as we bring everything to the Lord today, let us ask for his blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Our closing hymn is For the Beauty of the Earth, found in Journey, number 609. For the Beauty of the Earth, found in Journey, number 609. beauty of the earth, for the beauty of the skies, for the love which from our birth over and around us lies. Lord of all to whom we praise, this our hymn of grateful praise. For the beauty of each hour, of the day and of the night, hill and vale and tree and flower, sun and moon and stars of light, Lord 